Hello. Uh, welcome back, friends and loved ones, to another episode of Sunday Schmups. A little bit later in the day than previous Sundays because I went to an early showing of Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, and even at the earliest showing, it's still a three hour long movie with about 20 minutes of trailers. So, um, that's why we're a little bit late today. Uh, let me make sure all the uh, the games here are queued up. Uh, we will be playing today uh, what is in English. Uh, the English port was called Terra Diver. The uh, Japanese title of the game I will not be attempting to pronounce because I will not do it correctly. Um, and we're just going to sit through this what is going to be a pretty bonkers opening cutscene to set the mood. And if any of you can read uh, Japanese, feel free to translate in your own time. Um, yeah, this one uh, I wanted to play, one, just because of the, the, the crazy uh, confidence that the developers had in the texture of this game. It is uh, just wild. Uh, distant, near future, 2057 is nearer in the future than I would like to admit. No longer the distant future that this was back in the uh, 1990s, nearly 30 years ago. Um, yeah, I just, I really love the aesthetic and the vibe of this, uh, this world that they fleshed out here. Um, and the gameplay is actually interesting too, which we'll talk about when we get into the game itself. Is anybody watching this? Let me scan over. Maybe? Is anybody here? Can hear you breathing. Yeah, no idea what on earth this game is about, but I'm super jazzed about it either way. Let's see if my controller. Gotta get my controller. This wired, uh. wired gamepad. Very good, very fun, that I can just plug plug a GameCube controller into the computer and have it work. Yeah, this game is an interesting lock-on system that I'll be interested in exploring. Who? What? Weird spam. Sorry, let's read this spam text message that I got. somebody, because I was briefly on the voter rolls in Indiana, I'm getting survey questions about the city of Indianapolis. Uh, gonna not respond to this, because I no longer live there. Oh, and now we're going to, this is sending us to the attract screen. Okay. We will uh, play this game until we get game over, and then hopefully moving on to another game at the request of... Uh, if you uh, are in the Subpixel Team Discord, you can request things of me when I mention them. And so Halucha, one of uh, our more committed viewers, has requested that I play one of the games. Which one of these do I want to do? Which one of these hot, attractive anime people do I want to be? I'm going to be this. Don't know what's happening. So what we will see here in a minute, the uh, secondary, the lock-on ability, occurs in, uh, ooh, friend, in this, like, wireframe. I can just shoot if I tap, or I can lock on, and it builds out this, like, wireframe that will then lock on to the things that I'm trying to kill, or that I want to kill, for the most part. Who's that? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give the power-ups. These space tanks that look like the StarCraft tanks. Who? ha! Huh? Okay. We're doing it. We're making it happen. This is, I really like, uh... All of these shmups on the PlayStation, they all have very, very, very good style. Oh. Yikes.
I blow it up, please. We love a good flying wing, don't we, folks? We love a good flying wing. When's the last time we had a nice flying wing? I guess Ace Combat 7. If you've played Ace Combat 7. Skies unknown. But, um... Yeah, does the U.S. Air Force still use the... That stealth bomber? Whose uh, numerical... Alpha numerical taxonomy escapes me? Somebody let me know. I think that might be the last real-world flying wing design we've seen in a good minute. Oh! No, maybe, maybe... Uh, hello, Ian! Ian, did, um... Did Virgin Galactic or Virgin Atlantic have a solar-powered flying wing design in the past few years? Or am I totally remembering something wrong? Let me know. Now that we're here in orbit. This big flying freight truck. Hello! Uh, please don't kill me! Please don't kill me! Oh, I missed the bomb. That's unfortunate. Ian is saying, I might be misremembering Virgin's solar-powered flying wing. I think somebody had one, but I, I cannot remember who. We need more flying wings. Love a flying wing. Ooh. Ha. He. Yo. Here we go. Here we go. Please don't hurt me. Yeah, I kind of wish I could. I'm going to have to go look up what the, what the plot for this is. I wish I could follow it because um, I want to know how we got from whatever that city was we were just in, New York, Tokyo, to uh, here in orbit. I want to know by, by what narrative machinations have we arrived here. Uh, swept wing, flying wing, not electric. I must be thinking of something else then. If Virgin were not the ones who did that, I am thinking of something else. All right, are we? Is there, is there a boss incoming? Here we go. Big boss. A big boss. We love a big space station. I still don't have any bombs. Okay. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Ah. Ah. They're tracking me. Okay, okay. We got it. We got it. We can do it. We can do it. Oop. Alright, come on, friend. Alright, well that's not going to make... A horrifying cloud of debris. And now we get to see the aftermath of it. I like that they have these these between mission cutscenes where you get to see the aftermath of what you've just done. Good stuff. Good stuff. I wish I could read. I could not find a reliable English translation of this game. Though I've seen, like, screenshots of it. I just don't know where it was. Where it is. How to get it. 2057. I know that. I can read that. Here we go. Where are we? In the clouds? We're in the clouds. Above... Somewhere. A woman is speaking to me in Japanese. I cannot understand. American high schools really want you to learn a foreign language, and then they do almost nothing to help you maintain, retain any of that knowledge. Not that I took Japanese. I took French for uh, three years in high school and then two semesters in college. And I could speak hardly any of it now. 
my problem was in college. I, like, I feel like I, I had a pretty good grasp of lightly conversational French when I was in high school. Um, but then I got to college and I kind of whiffed it on the placement exams um, for the French class. And when I say whiffed it, I mean I did slightly too well in that I tested out of the most basic French classes and tested into the intermediate French classes because I remembered enough grammatically on to when I was taking the placement tests that I could kind of guess at the right answers when really I should not have done that and I should have guessed worse so that I could be in a class that I could actually do well in. I got a C and a C minus respectively in those two semesters of French classes. So I actually got worse as time went on. Huh, he ah Please, please be nice to me. And uh, now if I went to France, I might be able to muddle my way through some conversations if the French person I was speaking to was nice to me. Um, but I certainly could not maintain any sort of extended conversation. Wow. I feel like the hitbox here is real forgiving. Here we go, big tank. It's big tank time. Please don't hurt me. They look like, like, dog heads. Huh. I'm really excited to play Ace, not Ace Combat, Armored Core 6. There's too many ACs. Assassin's Creed, Armored Core, Ace Combat. Um, but I'm real excited of the, the world that they've been teasing in those trailers. Where you are just a, a name and a number. And a body and a morgue being plugged into a machine with which you will commit certainly some amount of atrocity we don't know how much exactly but certainly some on the distant planet of Rubicon and we shall see if the naming of said planet holds any sort of thematic weight in the narrative of the game. I'm sure it I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. Those uh, fans amongst you of Roman history. Here we are back in space again. Okay, one thing I've noticed throughout almost all these shmups, I think because they go back to games like Space Invaders and Asteroids is there is always a level. <laughs> there is always a level where you have to navigate some sort of heinous debris field. Probably going more so back to Asteroids than to Space Invaders, which was really just the, uh, the shooting and the moving. Whereas Asteroids had you contend with uh, big ol' rock. Ooh. Yes, continue. Ooh, so many power-ups. Power me up, please. Ooh, a bomb. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, as I said right at the top of this, it shows a little bit later today because I was watching Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer in IMAX. Uh, not in 70mm, but just in, you know, 2D. I'm... I am not also sure of what kind of projector my theater had, though I'm assuming it was laser. Um, and there was, uh, there was a big bomb. We saw multiple big bombs, but we only saw one big bomb get blowed, get blowed up. Um, and I liked how kind of abstract most of the presentation of, uh, nuclear power was. Uh, I liked it. 
a sobering depiction of atomic power. Though maybe a bit too nice uh, to J. Robert Oppenheimer and his complicity in uh, the atrocities that that atomic power brought about. I don't even know what the honk this thing is. Oh! Those are some big lasers, friends. These are big lasers. Trying to kill at least one of these cannons. Come on now. Why are we why are we backing up? The camera zoomed out a little. You know it's about to get real when the camera zooms out. Hitman does that. Zooms out the camera a little bit when you're, uh, when you change your disguise. Ah. Uh, you change your disguise or when you start dragging a body. See, I wish I knew what these percentages meant. Did I only get 29% of the enemies? Were only 29% of my hits accurate? Who's to say? But I love the vibes. We are checking out this asteroid field. We're going to find the wreckage of the thing I just killed. Yeah, there it is. Ooh, big explosion. Hello, Halucha. Um, When I hit the game over screen in this game, we will go to the grotesque uh, human body rail shooter that I mentioned in the Discord. I only have three lives left. Or three credits, as the PlayStation pretends that I am, in fact, standing in front of an arcade cabinet. Though I am not. Ooh. Mm. Come on. Come on. So right now we're back. Are we back on Earth? Or are we on some other... The watery surface of another celestial body. Who's to say? Except those amongst us who might be able to read Japanese and tell me. But it ain't me. It ain't me. I like this mech. We love a good mech here at Subpixel. Wow. Yeah, the hitbox in this game is super forgiving. <laughs> Definitely should have died a couple of times. Oh, here we go. More flying wings. We love a flying wing. We love it. Yikes. 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 There's too many of you. Please leave me alone. I forget what year this is from. I believe the late 90s. 98 or onward. Don't quote me on that. Wow. That thing just launched a bunch of rockets at me when I was just sitting on top of it. How was I supposed to avoid that? How was I supposed to avoid that? Yikes, yikes! I would like to continue. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, now what's happening? It's an escape vessel. Like, um, is it Thunderball? Is Thunderball the James Bond movie where, um,. The villain's yacht has, like, another mini-yacht that shoots out of it. I think in that movie they also kill a real shark on camera, which is not cool. Not cool, friendos. Sharks are not scary. But Jaws rules as a film. 
I will not be seeing the Meg 2 Trench Warfare or whatever the heck it's called. Heck, Trench Warfare would be a great name for some sort of undersea adventure movie. Sharks are friends and cuties, Halucha. We love them. We love a shork. Me like he a shork. I don't know if I've made it this far in this game before, because I have no recollection of this big pink world. Is this the Barbie level? Oh. Barbie has an orbital cannon? Orbital cannon Barbie? Ah. Oh. -ho. Barbie should have an orbital cannon. Give Barbie an orbital cannon. Am I on Mars? Is this Mars? The candy bar manufacturers? Probably Mars. Yeah, I wish I was following at all the story of this game, because it seems very cool. Ha, ya, ha, ya, hmm. Everybody's got big missiles. Please don't shoot them at me. Ay, ay, ay. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, I flew right into it. Okay. It's bad. We're doing bad, friends. We're doing a bad. Okay, maybe after I die, but just before we skip to the other game, I'll pull up one of the other characters so you can see this, this lock-on wireframe is different in shape for each character. So one of them's like a pyramid, and this guy's is, you know, like a half, half circle. Half sphere. Half of a sphere. Sorry if it just burped into the microphone. Game over. I can read that. That's in English. Okay. My boy Waffle, he's so heavy. Oh, okay. He's leaving me now. He's done. It's over. Okay. Let me, let me pull up one of these other shapes. Come on, friend. Um, yeah. Yeah. What shape will this be? I thought that was a neat gameplay thing. I also love a game that gives me any sort of like wireframe UI elements. Big fan of that aesthetically. Okay, yeah, what's this? Oh yeah, this big big cone. Cone of cone of death. Okay. Yeah. So I mean that's that's all that happens there. <laughs> Pausing. Okay. And now we will go over here so that I can quit this game and load up another game. We will be moving on from uh, Terra Diver. Halucha, you may not have Waffle. He is my son, and I love him. Um, I know, friend. He's just hefty. He a hefty boy. He's big 40 pounds of... 40 pounds of boy. Uh, go microcosm, microcosm by Psygnosis. Are we seeing? Is seeing believing? Yeah, Psygnosis presents. Uh. The opening cutscene for this is crazy long. Uh-oh, what happened? What's happening? Did 
Did we? Did I lose everybody for a second there? I looked over and and everything was frozen. Are we back? Somebody give me a sign. Okay, did did everything did everything crash or were you watching me suffer through those weird technical issues? I need guidance. I need help. Help. So we watch this uh Okay, well then I don't, I don't know what happened. So um, Yeah, here we are. Um Waffle, my baby. In this uh near future where uh <laughs> everything is lit in just really stark contrast. Ooh, I'm dropping the controller. Uh okay. Let's skip ahead. We don't need all the backstory because it doesn't make any sense. But uh, you just need to know that um, rival companies are competing with one another and injecting soldiers into other people's bodies. Waffle, please, my friend. Come back to me. Come back to me before we get too deep into the flesh. Can I pause? Can I pause, please? Is there no pause button? No pause. But here we are. We will see if um, this gets us banned from Twitch. Also, supposedly, um, supposedly the soundtrack for this is written in part by uh, famed Yes keyboardist Rick Wakeman. And many of the early Cygnosis cover art was done by uh, Yes's uh, primary cover artist, Roger Dean, whom we have a video about here on this channel. Why can't I pause this? Why it's no pausing? I'm gonna have to pause it in the emulator so I can grab my son, my boy. Please come here, my friend. It's not time for lobster. It's not lobster time. Please come here. Come here, my buddy. Or sit on the futon. These are your choices. These are your options. He doesn't like these options. Come here, dude. Come here, dude. Hi. This makes for a probably semi-compelling stream. Come here. I'm going to scoop you. I'm gonna scoop you. You're gonna get scooped. Get scooped. He does not wish to be scooped. He's too agile. He's too agile. That's his problem. Ooh! He's so big. Grr. Ugh! I <laughs> punched myself in the throat. Waffle, you're so silly. You're so silly. Hi. You know, he's been alone most of the morning because Papa was at the movies. Papa was at the movies. Come here, dude. Come on. Come get up here. Get up here. I'll get ya. Ooh, he doesn't want to be got. Doesn't want to get got. Come on. Come on. What if I make a little nest in my legs for you? Come here. Come on. Ah. Halucha, is this exciting? Should I go to the big... Should I go to the big camera? Go to the big camera so you can get a better view of... Of Waffle. Waffle, come to camera. Ah! 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 <laughs> we will have to let Ian know. This is more exciting. Come here, buddy. Come on, dude. You have to... You have to let me have it. If you want to keep playing. Okay. He might be done for the moment. Let's find out. 
continue our journey uh, into the human body. No, Waffle, my boy, my man. He just wants to be part of the group. How did all this weird infrastructure even get into this body? How did it even get into the body? Okay, bye, buddy. He's going out to the couch. I want to know who had to model these... these veiny interiors. And, uh... Ooh, it's gaping! Ah. I blowed up. Inside this poor man's body. That can't be good. That can't be good. I really, I really admire gaping or gape as a, as a word because it is just so evocative uh, as a, as an adjective, as a verb. Um, you just know exactly what it means. That's why I, though I don't know if I've ever used it in any of my prose. I'll have to find a way to work it into the new book. Wait, maybe I have. I think I may have described the, um, the, uh, port of ingress and egress on my, my fighter carrier as a gaping maw. I will have to go double check. If not, I shall make it so. Yeah, how, who are, who are all these, how did all these shooty boys get into this body? Where did all the shooty boys come from? And why am I in here? The sandworms in Dune were gaping. Oh, I saw, so I will say, of the, uh, of the IMAX trailers that played in front of Oppenheimer, that Dune 2 trailer is just delightful. And also the trailer for uh, uh, Gareth Edwards' The Creator in IMAX. That movie looks wild. Uh, uh, this is gross. Is this what being a doctor is like? Is this what medicine is like? Is this an anti-vax game? Is this what vaccines do to your body? I'm the vaccine, shooting up these cells. Ooh, I've got a second... What's this do? I've got multiple modes of fire, I'm just realizing. Where are we going? Where is this leading? This game doesn't end with me getting pooped out of this body. This game doesn't end with me being discharged in some way. Yeah, this is... I want to know who had to model... Who had to model these interiors, and then who did this texture? Who's the texture artist? For this appalling... flesh texture. Gross. Gross. Ah, uh, please don't hurt me. Ooh. What happened? Is that the end of the level? Waffle, come here. Yay, he's back. My boy is back. Is this a boss? Is this a boss encounter? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Ah! Leave me alone. He did not leave me alone. In fact, he did the opposite. More shrapnel in this dude's body. Oh, so it's putting me back at the boss. Okay, I don't have to do that whole first level again. Yeah, why are there so many... There's so many armed forces in this body. It 
firing missiles inside this dude's uh, circulatory system certainly can't be good for it. Do I have to hit this ball? It seems like that's what's taking damage. Nano Machine Sun. I haven't actually played that game. Metal Gear Revengeance. <gasps> I beat the weird machine. Or maybe I'm. Maybe these, these enemies I'm fighting are the vaccine, and I'm the anti-vaccine vaccine. Yeah, that's it. Whoa! What the... heck? What the heck is this... This... like... What, are we inside some guy's pacemaker now? What is... what is this? What is this? What is this? Oop. I died. I need to know where this game goes. I haven't gotten, I, I had not gotten past that boss before. So this is all, this is all new. This is all new territory, friends. Yeah, this, what the heck is going on here? What what the honk? The old honkaroony. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. I am being hurt so much. So much hurt is happening. Uh uh. We are dying once again. Oh, okay. Wait, is that game over? Are we gonna see the 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 fruits of our efforts on this man's body? What is what is happening? What is this fifth element lab? Are we rebuilding this guy? I oh, know, is he gonna flatline? Malfunction. System failure. Subject deceased. Oh, dang. We killed him. He's dead now. And it's our fault? Question mark? It's reminding us. It's reminding us of our failure. We killed this guy. Because we couldn't get the vaccine out of him. Oh, let's try to get a little further. <laughs> I want to see how gross we can... How, how gross can we get? I know, truly. 1993. They were looking to the future and they said... 30 years from now... We will need to take the fight... To modern medicine, doctors cannot be trusted. Wow, this is all horrible to be taken out of context. <laughs> I'm supposed to rank all of Subpixel based on gaming ability. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I know that it's 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 gauche to uh to to uh say nice things about Ian, at least on stream. Um, but Ian's got the kind of milsim thing. No, Ian, I was going to say, because you do the milsim stuff, that requires a level of kind of situational awareness that I have never felt that I've had. Um, and all the kind of like the factorial-like stuff that you and Will do, that's the kind of stuff that makes my brain hurt. Um... So if it were me, I would probably say, uh, like, Will, and then Ian, and then Kyle, and then me. That's my list. That's my ranking, and I'm sticking with it. 
Why did these astro? How did these asteroids get into this dude? Or is it is it plaque? Are we in an artery? Are we helping clear this this artery of of plaque? There we go. There's the needle. Here we are. Here we go. Yeah, I need to know which tracks of the score Rick Wakeman wrote. Because there were like four listed composers, at least on uh, Wikipedia. The Internet Encyclopedia. And it, it, uh, it did not list uh, who did what. Um, no, but I've never considered myself a remarkably good gamer. That's part of, a uh, part of that, uh, Elden Ring video I wrote that a bunch of, uh, a bunch of weirdos got mad at, um, was that, um, I didn't play any of those FromSoft games for such a long time because all I ever heard about them was how difficult they were, and I, because I never really considered myself to be a very good gamer, I just was like, well, why would I, you know, spend money playing a game that's just going to frustrate me or that I'm going to be bad at? Um, and so I never played a single FromSoft game until Elden Ring. Um, but now I've played a little bit of Bloodborne, um, and I'm definitely going to be playing Armored Core 6 and eventually working my way through the, uh, the FromSoft gameography. Um, oh, I guess I've also played Metal Wolf Chaos. Um, because Devolver did that re-release a couple years ago. The the Western, or I guess it's its first Western release. Metal Wolf Chaos. Yeah, I do not like the the very sphinctery nature of some of these some of the bits of this level. We have um, the, the, the episode of Play This that will be coming out in August, second week of August, uh, is about a, another game in another genre that has broadly made me feel stupid, but this game was good because of how, how easy and accessible, or not how easy it was, but how accessible it was within the genre. So keep an eye out for that, second week of August. Okay, I feel like the boss is... Soon, right? Soon the boss. Show me the boss. How many more twisty, turny... Where are we going? Oh no, is these stabby... Are these other needles coming in to release more troops? Is this, what was, um... Is Os Osmosis Jones? That's the, um, the cartoon about the, uh, inside of the body. Halucha, are you asking if the, uh, in-game character has been hos hospitalized, or me, Jake Terrio, if I have ever been hospitalized? I can answer one of those questions with some degree of certainty. Hey, Waffle, where are you going? Where are you going, goose? Uh, Jake Terrio, Jake Terrio has been hospitalized on two occasions, um, or maybe only one occasion. You'll have to let me know if the second occasion counts. I broke my arm when I was nine, and um, it was broken in such a way that I had to get it set with pins, and I had to stay overnight in the hospital. Um, that was, the recovery from that was the most excruciating pain of my life. Breaking the arm actually didn't hurt at all. So it was about a day before we actually realized my arm was broken. Um, and yeah, so I was overnight in the hospital, I think just one night. I don't think it was two nights. Um, and then I had a benign tumor uh, under... Not in my armpit, but like sort of like on my back, right where 
I guess behind my armpit. Uh, it was a benign growth that had to be removed surgically. And so I was put under, but I didn't stay overnight for that. I, I, I was able to go, go home the same day. Um, so I guess, I don't know, if you count surgeries in which I was rendered unconscious, then twice. But if it's times that I spent overnight in the hospital, only once. All other surgeries I have been awake for. Come on now. Come on now. I must beat the weird boss to get to the next stage. It ain't gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, folks. Okay, but with that, I think we will move on to another game. As we uh, watch this person die again on camera. And then we'll see if this uh, crashes again. Okay. Uh, what do we want to play? What are we going to play next? What are we going to play next? What haven't we done? Uh, let's do... Let's do... Oh, okay, hold on. We're going to do a very subpixel shmup. Um, this is uh, another game from 1993 called In the Hunt. And uh, it is a submarine... A submarine shmup... Submarine shmup with a a heck of a title card. That's the stuff. So the PlayStation port was from 1995, but this was originally an arcade game released in 1993, the year of my birth. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do some submarine combat. Whales. I know I don't feel very young, Halucha. I have a an upcoming script that I've written in which I reveal that I was born in the year 1993 and I acknowledge that um, that fact will be disturbing to viewers on either side of that date for different reasons. That's spooky. I also, I, I, uh, in, in writing for that script, I, I was just randomly looking up, like, celebrities... Who was born? What big events happened in 1993? And then what celebrities were born in 1993? And um, I'm always disturbed at discovering uh, celebrities that were born the same year as me. There's some that I, I already knew about. Like, I know Jodie Comer is my age, and um, uh, she has an Emmy. Uh, and there's others, but I didn't know Kiki Palmer was born in 1993. And now I feel like I'm very behind on, um, my legacy. I've got things I need to accomplish, and, uh, I have yet to accomplish them. I don't like that feeling. Um, but I know that it's unhealthy for me to compare myself to others. We are all on our own paths. But it's difficult. It's difficult not to compare yourself to others. Huh. Huh. Yes, Kiki Palmer is amazing in all things, including that Visa commercial that was playing on Hulu for a hot minute. 
But yeah, it, it also comes back to, um... No, yeah, I absolutely know that um, it is a skill issue. That I have not yet accomplished any much of anything with myself. Um... What was I saying prior to this? Um... Yeah, I just need to take... I was telling my boss before he quit that, um, like, with all, like, my, you know, my, my book endeavors or my screenwriting endeavors or whatnot, I feel like I just need to take, like, six months off to go be able to do, you know, pitching and whatnot. But, um, in this economy, six months off with no savings? Impossible can't be done so I need to find a I need to find a benefactor I need to be benefacted I guess that's what patreons for right the 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 old-timey patrons of old now democratized across the internet I've looked into grants I have looked into a lot of grants um, but at least for the stuff that I'm writing, a lot of them are contingent on, uh, either, like, the cultural value of the screenplay, or if, um, if it's, like, location-based, like, oh, you want to shoot in X, Y, Z location, um, you have to, like, make that location kind of a key part of the story that you're trying to tell, um... But I'm writing a lot of stuff that's set in space, and currently nobody is really giving out grants for that kind of thing. Ooh, there's some shorks. Hello, shorks. Um, but, like, I have a script that is uh, um, set in Kazakhstan in the 1970s, and I think I could do a lot of it in, like, the Badlands... Um, but, um, I couldn't necessarily get a, get a grant from the state of Montana for that, because while I'm shooting in Montana, the movie's not, like, about Montana. It's using Montana as a stand-in for somewhere else. But, um, yeah, we'll see what comes of things in the future. I am on the verge of self-publishing my novella, and we will see what comes of that. I was mentioning on last week's stream, I've been querying my, my novel for like two years, and, and uh, it's tiring. It's tiresome. It's tiring. And now that, that uh, Elon Musk is nuking Twitter into oblivion, I don't really have any idea of how I'm going to go about promoting myself in the future. These are some nice looking clouds. Ah. Um. Yeah, I, I, I love the idea of buying one of the most distinct, uh, or buy, buying a brand with one of the most distinct visual styles uh, on the web and then removing any semblance of that visual branding from said app after you have purchased it for an ungodly amount of money. That, friends, that, my friends, that's good business. That is good business sense. I am uh, referring, of course, to Elon Musk and his acquisition of the app formerly known as Twitter. What a dummy. Can you believe? Uh, but as, um, as Tim Rogers says, the best way to become rich is to fall out of another rich person. And that is, uh, that's, that's how you end up being able to buy the app formerly known as Twitter 
for many tens of billions of dollars. Uh, I am not checking the data, save data team. I am uh, just a little too ignorant of how all this uh, technology actually works to let you know whether or not the raid went through. I'm not looking at the, the viewership numbers right now. Thank you, if it did. Welcome. We are playing uh, In the Hunt, the 1993 game from a studio whose name escapes me. Here on Sunday, Shmups, a very subpixel shmup. We love shmups and we love submarines. And some of us might even love the 90s. The Hunt is good. Save data team. As you can see, we are causing uh, indiscriminate destruction of um, this warehouse that we seem to have floated into. As uh, this warehouse where apparently they are assembling giant mechs of one form or another. And uh, giant mechs that uh, can shoot me. And will do so indiscriminately. Here we go. Oop, now he's in the water. He smashed me. Uh, 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 uh. There's uh, just a, a lot happening. There's just a lot happening, folks. A lot going on on screen. A lot of visual data to sift through. As we are just, uh, you know, when you're in the pool and you smash your hand on the surface of the water and there's a lot of bubbles you can't see for a couple seconds, that's just what this whole game is like. Let's see if we can get to another boss before we wrap things up here near the top of the hour. Um, here we are going into stage three, the Seabed Ruins. In uh, eleven on the eleventh of July, just a week or two ago. Um. Oh, not where I expected this to go. This uh, Poseidon, Poseidon Jesus monster ascending through this deep sea cavern as we try to safely ascend our way through it. Oh. Oh, friends. Friends, it is. It's getting spicy in here. It is getting spicy, and Waffle is getting agitated over here next to me. What is happening? I have to smash my way through all this brick? Waffle, my boy, my friend, come back to me, son. Come back to me. Say hi to the, say hi to the viewers. It's not lobster time. I know we're underwater, but it's not lobster time. Come here. Eh. Reeling him in like he's a big fish. Like he's a big fish. Hi, buddy. Can you relax? Be relaxed. Be relaxed, my big bubby. He's not gonna do it. He can't relax. It's impossible. Come here. Let me scoop you. Huh. Why don't you get up on the futon? Just hang out over there. Hang out on the futon to get to the end of this level. Some weird Jesus monster. Oh boy. I feel like this can't be good for my submarine. Smashing through all this rubble. This Barney rubble. Huh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Wow, yes, I would like to continue. I don't know how many how many lives I have left. Ah. What is happening? 
What is happening? What is going on? Is this... Is this the end? What's happening? I got smashed again. Do I have to... Do I have to beat the monster? It's lowering these... Pillars from the ceiling. Mirrors on the ceiling and... Pink champagne on ice. What? What is this? I thought this was a fun, nautical game. I didn't know we were going to be f facing off against heinous undersea monsters. I would like to continue. I can't continue. It won't let me continue. Well, maybe that's a, as good a place to end it as any. Um, here on Sunday Schmups. Yeah, what a... What a wild time. Hello, Waffle. Would you like to come up here just one more time? And we'll wrap out the show. He's licking my leg. Okay. Oh, I have to put in my name. And once again... You can all guess what my middle name is. Wait, how many characters do I get? That's too many. It's too many characters. They would have let me do eight letters? That's crazy. That's crazy talk. Oh my goodness. Halucha, you are correct. <laughs> uh, I forget if I've ever mentioned that before, but yes. My middle name is James, after my grandfather, Jim. In the hunt. Um, yeah, well that about concludes our broadcast day. Um, yes, Lucia, that is, is better than any of Ian's guesses last week. Um, yeah. James, that's it, that's the one. Uh, this has been another episode of Sunday Schmups. Uh, I don't know, we, our schedules are somewhat in flux this next week, so I might be back next Sunday, probably back in the 2 p.m. Eastern slot, because I don't imagine I'll be seeing a three-hour-long movie early Sunday morning. Um, uh, what are we doing? Find us on Twitch. Find us on uh, YouTube. Join our Discord. Uh, subscribe. I'm never the one doing these outros, and you, I should have written it down, because I say this for the last three weeks, I've been saying this. I never do these outros, and I'm very bad at them. Uh, we are Subpixel Team on most forms of social media. We will publish what we're coming up on. We're coming up on the next month. August is almost here, so on Thursday there will be a new edited video, uh, and then Thursday night you can tune in to local chat 9 p.m. Eastern. Tuesday there will likely be some sort of stream. Uh, keep an eye out for that schedule. Uh, and then next weekend, of course, some sort of st uh, other stream. Be it Sunday Schmups or be it something else, it will happen. Uh, I am Jake Terrio at underscore Jake Terrio on Twitter and uh, uh, the app formerly known as Twitter. And when that app eventually gets nuked into oblivion, you will not be able to find me anywhere else. Um, I hope you enjoyed this stream. Save data. Thank you for rating there at the at the at the latter end of it uh hopefully it was good good enough to return next week for more of this um that's me have a nice rest of your weekend have a good rest of the next week i love you <laughs>